Okay, this is my 13 by five Delta planer, 1951 vintage. I just finished a restoration on it. I didn't go all the way down, but I got most of the parts off. Everything else was clean, painted, polished. <clears throat> original motor. Everything else is original on it. I did change the blade. I had some extra blades that came with the machine. Um, the notorious bronze gear, I have a replacement. I actually have two. One of them is not quite the same, but uh, I was able to uh, just keep the old one in there. It still has some life left in it, and I don't see where letting it run a little longer is going to hurt anything. The casters that came that are on this actually came with another planer that I bought, just like it, at scrap value at an auction. And uh, I started using, I used those, I cleaned them up and painted them because they were extremely heavy duty and they, of course, fit this one perfectly. It's a very heavy planer, very quiet, very smooth. As you can see, the two nickels standing on the top of the planer, I'll start it up. I would have put them on the bed, but the knives tend to blow them over, so it's not a good indicator of stability. It's just an indicator of the wind speed. Let's see how this works. That one stayed up. So did the other one. See if I can get it down without it falling over. One of them fell over last time. There they are, right there. And right there. And they're still standing. There you go. Original badge. Everything pretty well cleaned up. The gear, gear, gear box was uh, a little bit dirty, but um, I put the correct oil in there and it uh, seems to be running fine. So one more time, I'm gonna start it up just so you can hear how quiet it is. It actually makes no more noise than my joiner up over there. about a sixteenth of an inch. We'll walk back here and get this board. It is of course mesquite because that's the only real wood in the world. And here we go. I need back I need something to suck up the chips, but for now, we'll just do it this way. Anyway, that's it. Nice machine.